So now we have the T50 out, we're gonna talk about the new features on this system. Right off the box, you'll notice the color of the propellers. Now, the propellers, uh, we compare them to the, four, the T40, and they are about the same. Now, DJI doesn't recommend to swap them between the two, but the first thing you notice is the color, and they're the same as the T40s. So starting in the front, we will find the new phased array radars. Actually, there's two. So you have one in the front, one in the back, you have a new and improved binocular vision system, which now includes a secondary system. One is integrated here just above the FPV camera. And the second uh, uh, binocular system is up here, right in front of the radar. Now you notice there is an angle. That's because the drone, when it's flying forward, it tilts before when they were in the canopy, they used to point downward, not, not fully forward. Now with this angle, this new angle, when the drone is flying and it's tilting forward, now you can actually see in the front. So that's a good improvement there. Uh, physically, you will notice the canopy is different. Now you have access to ports. When you remove these two screws in the front, you have connections for the FPV camera, the binocular system, the face array radar. These two uh, lights were improved as well. The design, they were vertical on the uh, T40 system. On the T50, now you see that they're horizontal and they give you a better uh, flooding or better coverage when you're flying at dusk, at dawn, when you have limited uh, light. The FPV camera, they also improve. Uh, they have it more, they have it covered better uh, for maybe accidental, uh, you know, when you hit it accidentally with something on the ground or maybe, you know, a tree, you can cover more area with this camera when you're doing mapping. Visually, you can see that the uh, ESCs were also improved. The heat sinks are much, are bigger. So maybe the air will hit them and cool down the system better. They feel a little different. The motors are the same. The latching system on the arms, they have now this lever that you can pull to make it easier on removal. It didn't have this feature before, so it was a little harder. You had to pull the whole thing out. Now with this system, they made it simpler, nice and easy. Okay. Now the uh, T50 comes with a 40 liter tank. As you can see inside, they have built-in uh, a filter in the bottom just before the pumps just in case when you're doing your mixing maybe solids that they need to dissolve on you know on, on your chemical and if you probably forget you know to dissolve them they will get filtered out on that in the bottom the they improve the way the uh, pumps uh, work now they increase also the uh, flow rate. Now, with that, they also increase the size of the uh, <clears throat> of the uh, tubing for that system. And you can see it in the back on your uh, new and improved centrifugal system that you have a thicker uh, you have thicker lines to compensate for the new and improved flow rate. And in here, you can see that they also added what they call a solenoid valve just to prevent that leakage before on the T40, when you stop spraying some drops, you'll, see, you'll notice that it's dripping. Now with this new solenoid, you will prevent, they prevent that. So new leakage protection, they call it. If we continue to the back here, so you have your two RTK antennas, what we are used to from DJI, they work uh, really great. By the way, they are necessary when you are doing mapping. So you need to have RTK enabled and be connected to a DRTK antenna or an N-TRIP system. In the back, uh, the uh, power distribution system is inside this box, which they also redesigned. It's nice and improved uh, with this access, with these uh, two screws you remove, you pull this down. You have access to everything, the connections for the uh, RTK antennas, your back motors, the new added uh, 
face array and uh, radar in the back, which uh, now they increase the uh, system or the security of the system. Now you have a 360, or actually I should say an spherical um, redundancy for collision avoidance. And also when you are, you know, now you don't have to have maps in the system when you're trying to do uh, uh, a, a, st uh, a steep slope uh, terrain following. So now with this new antenna in the back, or sorry, with this radar in the back, you can uh, do terrain following without having to have maps on the system. Uh, the connection for the, for the battery is, is, remains the same. Now your battery was improved to 30 amps. Um, that's the whole capacity of the new battery. Um, let's talk about actually about the um, the charging station. So the the generator now um, can charge the batteries in in ultra fast charging. They call it, which is nine minutes from 10 percent to 90 percent. Um, the batteries have a lifespan of uh, 1500 cycles and also the generator one of the features that they added a 1.5 meter uh, cable to charge the system so now that's convenient and then one thing that we didn't uh, we haven't touched yet is the new uh, cooling station now it's pre-built in so you don't have to put it they used to come in the t40 this assembly you have to put it yourself uh, together now they have a pre-assemble, it looks nice and sturdy. You can have both batteries, uh, bigger fans, as you will expect from DJI, and remote. Now remote, the remote uh, it stays the same. Now there are some new features, uh, dual frequency uh, on the new system. You have a two kilometer uh, distance for, for uh, your, your flying distance. But we'll talk about that when we go and take it to the field and then we'll show you how everything looks on the system. But the remote, it's still the same and it's nice quality as you will expect from DJI. And uh, this is it. So I hope you like the unboxing video today. We're gonna take it out to the field. We're gonna come out with a new video showing you guys all the new features and everything on the system. I hope you guys like it. Please subscribe and we'll see you next time.